Uwoke here and this is my review of the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. I will cover everything from design, software and some of the issues I have with the tablet. And hopefully by the end of this video you can decide whether or not you like it, you don't like it and whether or not you want to buy it. So let's get this thing started. So first off, we're going to take a look at the specs. It features a 10.1 inch screen with a 1080p screen. That's a resolution of 1920 by 1200. And that's a 224 PPI, which is pretty impressive. Display it ha it has good viewing angles. And you could also use Sony's Bravia Engine 2, which makes a uh, photo um, and videos look a lot better on the screen. Um, it also has shatterproof and scratch resistant screen which is uh, very useful so you don't have to worry about it scratching and you know, cracking. Um, power in the tablet is the Snapdragon S4 processor clocked in at 1.5 GHz. So you don't get the latest processors um, by Qualcomm um, right now like the 600 and the 800 but it's still more than capable of handling anything that you throw at it. It also has 2 gigabytes of RAM and a micro SD card so you can store up to 64 gigs. It's available in 16 gigs, 32 gigs, you can get it in black, white and you could also get the 3G and 4G uh, capable models. In terms of hardware, the tablet is simply beautiful. The white version that I have right now, I think that looks the best. You can see what it looks like, it looks beautiful. It covers the back, there's um, edges going around and you've got a nice uh, white bezel going around it just to show that it is the white version. Um, the black part of the the main part of the screen is always going to remain black and yeah i'm going to walk you through the tablet right now you've got the sony ericsson logo up there you've got the 2.2 megapixel camera up there with some sensors um 10.1 inch screen um hd 1080p so you're going to get very nice um uh, pictures from it when you're viewing it and viewing text and stuff like that um you've got nothing else on the screen the buttons are actually on screen so all, all the back buttons the home buttons are done all on screen um, let's take a look at the bottom part of the tablet right here. So we've got one speaker here and we've got another speaker here. And we've got another speaker on the side, on the two, both of the sides as well, which I'll show you that when I turn it. And you've got flaps. Because this tablet is um, waterproof, they do have um, these little flaps. They do feel a bit flimsy. And say if you had it open to charge it, you could just kind of maybe hit that and it might just snap off. So. Once you snap that off, it's not going to be waterproof anymore, so you just need to bear that in mind and just kind of be careful. But that is the USB um, hole where you charge up on here. This is where you put your SD card and SIM card if you have the 3G or 4G model. You can see you got your flaps here again. Put that down. On the uh, left hand side, you've got another flap, which way you put your headphones in. You've got the power button, which is um, the same that's on the Xperia um, Z phone. Uh, you've got the volume rocker here, and you've got um, a nice little bump there at the top one, so you can actually feel where the top one is to increase the volume. You have a little LED flash. See, it's flashing orange now, telling me I've got a low battery. Um, you've got the two connections there for a dock, and you've got the other speaker that I was talking about before. Uh, on the right hand side, we have just one speaker and it's plain. On the top, we have um, an IR blaster, so you can use this as a TV remote if you want, and a microphone. On the back, you could uh, see this properly, you've got the Xperia logo right there. And you've got the 8 megapixel camera on the back, no flash, unfortunately. And yeah, that's just a quick run through the tablet. Um, overall in terms of hardware it's beautiful, um, it looks good, it's thin as well, thinnest tablet you're going to get on the market so that's pretty cool and when you're holding it in one hand it's very easy to ho uh, hold in one hand because the weight is evenly distributed uh, throughout the tablet it's so easy to hold in one hand, some tablets um, it might be a bit difficult but this one you can just hold it in one hand and it just feels light and natural to hold and that's a nice little plus um, this is one of the best looking tablets like I've said out there um, when you compare it to the iPad which I'll be doing a separate video on so stay tuned for that. Um, it is one of the best looking tablets out there and even though it's made from plastic it does feel solidly built, feels solid in the hand and you know it just feels durable. And don't forget this is um, waterproof as well, it's got the 
um, scratch resistant screen, shatterproof screen still. Overall it's a pretty solid tablet. So when it comes to software it's running Android version 4.1.2 with Sony's user interface on top. The tablet feels smooth but like most Android tablets there is some lag present. It doesn't occur all the time but you do notice it from um, time to time. You can improve it by um, installing a custom launcher like Apex Launcher which can help the lag and make things uh, feel a bit smoother. Also I wanted to show you some quick little features of the tablet interface. First off we've got these two icons down here. The first icon is like a shortcut menu where you could actually open up, say if you wanted to open up the browser in a little window on top of whatever you're running so you could be playing the game and you just want to check something quickly you can do that just by jumping in there and you can start uh, browsing. You also have one for calendar, you could do a clip manager, notes, recorder, remote control and timer. So if you wanted to take a quick note you could just say you know and just type whatever and you can save that quick note and do whatever with it and you also have a remote control as well and this one is a remote control so if you have your remote control set up on this you have to do is tap here and it will open it up and you could control your TV directly from the tablet you don't even need to get up to go get your remote or anything so I think that's pretty cool and um, you also got um, this little plus button here where you can actually add widgets applications wallpapers and themes so yeah, I really do like this, um, how Sony's customised it up. There's little neat features that could uh, make um, getting into your settings and doing tasks much easier. When it comes to battery life, the, um, the tablet features a 6000 mAh battery. The battery life is good and I was able to get through two days with medium to light usage. But if you're going to use it really heavy, expect um, just over a day's usage. But if you really want long lasting battery you're going to have to enable stamina mode, this turns off Wi-Fi, 3G, all notification and synchronization and this dramatically increases your battery life from hours to days. Uh, once um, I remember taking off the charger at 100%, I left it for about 13 hours, not touched it in stamina mode and it only dropped by 1% and that's pretty impressive. So if you're not fussy about getting your notification, your emails um, and messages and stuff like that, definitely consider enabling it because it will increase the battery life a lot. One of the main seller points of the tablet is that it's waterproof and it holds up pretty well when I dunked it in some cold water and it will work just fine after that. Um, you could also play video and it still hear the video while it's playing underwater so that's a pretty cool feature. Um, this means you could use it in the bath, shower, when in, in the rain, when at the swimming pool and stuff like that. The back camera on the tablet is an 8 megapixel camera and to be honest um, the pictures aren't that great. It lacks detail in the pictures but still produces okay pictures. Same goes for video, it just lacks detail in the video and it's just not as sharp as I would like it to be from an 8 megapixel camera. There are a lot of different features in the um, cameras application itself like burst mode, uh, different picture effects, sweet panorama, HDR, ISO and a lot more different features. Um, something I did notice when I took a picture and then viewed it back in the gallery the picture would always be look better um, after I've taken the picture. I wouldn't use this as a main photography device. If you have a phone with a good camera or an actual camera I would recommend that instead if you want to get nice clean sharp images. When it comes to the music experience it uses Sony's Walkman app which works very well. Um, it has a nice clean layout which fits the tablet screen just fine. There's one thing that could be better is the way they organize your music. One thing that was missing uh, was organizing it um, using folders. That would have been a big help to organize my music. Um, but there's also a search button at the top which you can use to find your songs. When it comes to audio there are four um, speakers on the bottom of the tablet right on the corners. They produce an okay sound but sounds often can be tinny and lacks um, bass and rich audio but it still works great and does the job fine when you're viewing videos and you know just general use. When it comes to benchmark it comes out with okay results. In Antutu I got 20,236, Quadrant Standard I got 7,637, in the Ice Storm Extreme Test I scored 5,636. These results aren't the best out there but considering the processor isn't the latest one um, it's still um, very good and numbers don't aren't really everything it's all about real world performance and it performs just fine with the occasional lag. In terms of gaming um, I've tried most of the latest games and they run fine without any issues. You could also hook up your PlayStation controller and use that as a controller to control some of the Android games which is pretty cool. Um, but I'll have a link if you want to check out um, some of my gaming videos that I did. Now when we talk about some of the issues I had with the tablet which could be a door breaker for you. 
First off is the uh, issue of the screen. The screen is over sensitive. For example, when scrolling on web pages or any application, my finger will automatically open links that I didn't press. Um, especially when you're um, swiping away notifications in the notification uh, menu, that got me really frustrated. Um, even when swiping up and down, say for example in a maps or picture application, it will register it as a zoom gesture, uh, which got me very frustrated when you just want to use the tablet quickly. For me, this was a deal breaker since I paid for the tablet and this being a high and expensive tablet, I don't find it's worth paying so much to have this issue when other tablets don't have this issue at all. So I'm going to be returning my tablet and I'm going to keep my iPad for now until something better um, comes along. Um, some people on the forum say that removing the screen protector that you get pre-installed uh, when you get the tablet does help with this issue a bit. Another thing I came across was that it lags between home screens and in other places but you can um, help improve this um, by installing Apex Launcher which should speed things up a bit. Hopefully they can iron out the lag with an update. Um, and the last thing is that it tracks a lot of fingerprints and dust so make sure you always keep a little cloth um, just to wipe down the screen and keep it looking nice and clean. So to wrap up this is an amazing looking tablet, it's beautiful from every angle and definitely one of the best Android tablets currently available. Other than the issues that I said um, before, um, it has a lot of features and small touches that make the tablet really great. I do recommend the tablet as long as you take into consideration what I said before and if that doesn't bother you, go for it. Um, and yep, that's about it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? You're going to be getting it. What do you think? Leave all the good stuff in the comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and thanks for watching. Peace.